So we're going to work on percents today. And so the pressure of doing the calculations is out, but we do need to understand about what a percent is, what it means as a decimal, what it means as a fraction, and then also how to use it to find other numbers. Okay, so quite a few things to talk about today. So percent means out of 100. It's a ratio of a number to 100. Okay? So every percent can be written as a decimal. If we think of it as being out of 100, we can take a look at the first one that I've got there for you to do. Um, as we can write everything as a decimal and as a percent. So every, so here's the thing, if we want to write this as a decimal, okay, if we want to write it as a decimal, what we can do is what? Anybody know what you would do to write that as a decimal? Divide. So to write it as a decimal, all you have to do is divide 15 divided by 4. Okay, so 3.75 as a decimal. 3.75, which is not just 3 over 4. Okay, so it's 3 and 3 fourths as a fraction, but we want to be able to write it as a complete decimal. Please write this down. Everybody should be writing absolutely everything. All right, so... And then to make that into a percent, okay, out of 100, it's 375 over 100, because here's our hundredths place. So as a percent, that's 375%. They all mean the same exact thing. Yes, you can have over 100%, okay? So 375% here. The quick way of doing that is to just move your decimal place two places to the right. Okay, so that is your quick, your quick trick is decimal to percent. Um, move the decimal point two places right. A nice quick trick on making a decimal into um, a percent. And for the opposite, right? So if you were taking a percent and making it to a decimal, you would move it two places left. So 375% is the same as 3.75, which is the same as 15 fourths. So anytime you have any of them, we can convert into the other two. So, yes. Do you have a question? Um, say again. You forgot what you were going to say, sir. So, for um, things that you can just know in your head, I guess like what you're thinking of, like the things that stood out like for you. Okay, so for something like this, we did the work in the calculator, so I can't tell whether you thought it or you put it in the calculator. So, you're not, you really wouldn't have to show any work for this one because it's. It's all either calculator or in your head work. Now, there are some things we're going to go over today that you do need to show work, but this is not one of them. Okay, this one, right, as a fraction as a percent, and as a percent. So it starts out as being 0.28. I want you to pick one of them and tell me how I make that into either a fraction or a percent. So let me think for fractions that are over 100. Yes, so she said put over 100, so 28 divided by 100, because this is the hundreds, tenths, hundredths place, okay, so you have to go to the furthest place, and then reduce it, you said divide by 4, right, Jolene? Yeah. Because 4 goes into the numerator, 4 goes into the denominator, so 7, seven over 25, so that equals 7 over 25. Okay, so here's the thing. 
yes, I'm not questioning that. But that is the wrong. You know how like when you move three point seventy five into a percent, you just multiply it by a hundred. You only want to divide it by hundred. Yeah. Your well, it's out of a hundred, so it's three hundred seventy five out of a hundred. Yeah. What so, if it was like like um like thirty seven point five? Would you still like, move by hundred? Thirty seven point five would be three hundred uh. 37.5, 3750. Okay. Oh, so you still, still two place. decimal, two places, always two places. All right, so back to this one. We have 725ths is that. Let me blow your mind and show you what your calculator can do for you. Okay. So if we wanted to do that, we wanted to do 0.28, and you wanted to find out what that equals, you could push math. And then the fraction option. Asia, and not only does it turn it into a fraction, it turns it into a reduced fraction. Oh, this yeah, is yeah, that's a secret. So, anyway, now here's the thing I'm showing you that so you can get used to using it, but because of something that we would, you would do in further algebra when you get to algebra two, you do still have to understand how fractions are due. How you can cancel out the things that are in common. So, and the calculator doesn't do that for you. That's why we hold on to a lot of a lot of this course is not with the calculator. But I also want you to be kind of familiar with what the calculator can do for you. All right. Now, as a percent, 0.28 is how many percent? We just talked about how to do that, AJ. So you got to give me the answer. Don't just fish in the air. No. Okay. I got you. Um, how about Kayla? Do you know? No. Okay, so we said the rule is to make a decimal to a percent. Move the decimal place two places to the right. So that would give you how much? 28 percent. 28 out of 100. Here it is actually the out of 100 one. 28 out of 100. It's what is this out of 100? So 28, this is actually. This slash kind of comes from the idea of divide by 100, 28 out of 100. So let's do another one. Oh, wait, wasn't there another one? No, yeah, that's it. There's the, the, one, the next one is the percent equation. The percent equation. Oh, 32% was the original one that I didn't, we didn't do. Okay. Um, on the very top left, it says it started with 32%. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay. So let's do that one. 32%. We want to make that into a fraction and into a decimal. So first into a decimal, into a decimal. Let's hold on. Keyshawn, as a decimal, what's that look like? Well, actually, you could do as a fraction, or let's do a fraction oh, first, actually. 32 over 100. So 32 out of 100 equals, we have to reduce it down. So what goes into 32? Four. Four, okay. Eight over 25. So there you go. Eight over 25. Now for a percent to a decimal, we have to move the, the decimal point two places instead of to the right, we move them two places to the left. Yeah, so move decimal two places left. Right. So we don't see one, that means it's hiding over here. So one, two, so you're right, Keyshawn. Point three, two. Okay, so 32% is the same as 8 25 which is the same as point three two. 32 out of 100 might also help you think of the decimal version of it, 32 hundredths. So it takes you to that place value right there. Okay, all right. So we've got the idea of what a percentage is. So it's if you had 100, how much would there be 
our percent equation is going to be used to solve all of the word problems and do all the things that you need to do is that the percent times the whole amount is going to equal the part. Now, weirdly, sometimes the part actually is more than the whole amount, but basically one thing. So when we're thinking about what percent of 86, 86 is the whole. So what percent, that's our unknown, so we can just do P, times 86 percent times the whole equals the part. Now, when we do these calculations, it's going to give us our percent. It's going to give us as a decimal. And we will have to then make it into its percent form. So how do I solve this equation if I have P times 86 equals 12? We would divide because it's P times. So inverse operations, divide by 86. We're going to get a decimal. Let's calculate that out. 12 divided by 86. All right, and it's going to give us this ridiculous decimal. Okay, point. Oh, read it all to me. Um, okay, point. So point one three nine five three four eight eight three seven. Eight eight three seven seven. Okay, so here's the thing. We're going to give an we're going to give an approximate answer. Okay, so we're going to move the decimal place. How many places? One, two. So it is. If we round to this place value now. Okay, if we round to this. Round to the ones place. How much would that give us? Fourteen. So we can say about. 14%. Okay, so because you're allowed to use the calculator, I'm going to let you do the crazy percents, but don't come out with the nice teeth and whole numbers. But when you've calculated the value, you slide the decimal point over to, if it's asking you for what percent. If you're using a percent in it, you have to slide it over to make it into its decimal form in order to do this calculation. Right. Everybody have that written down? Okay. What did we say? We said the percent times the whole equals the part. Now, in these equations, the word of is where your times actually belong. So the word of tells you where the whole part is. So we have our percent times the whole equals the part. So our percent is how much? Point, point 0.35. Take your 35% and make it into its decimal form. Slide the decimal two places this way, so 0.35. So what's the whole? 570. And that equals our part. We don't know what it is. But our part is the one that says what is. So it's what number. So you could, if you want, you could put an N in there or your variable of choice. So 0.35 times 570, once again, because we're not, this chapter, we're not concentrating on you spending a lot of time doing a long multiplication or long division. We'll just multiply it out, 0.35 times 570. Just look like that little star on the calculator. Don't forget to hit enter. So we have 199.5. So 199.5 is 35% of 570. Okay. 
that type of information might be good for you, like if you're looking at a sale or looking at percent off or whatever, you want to be able to find the part percent of a number. Everybody have that down? So 1.4n, how do you get n by itself then if it looks like this? Divided by what? 1.4. So n is going to equal 23 divided by 1.4. So we're going to get, you know what? We have one like that. We're going to get an about equal to. So I, don't, I think I told you guys that to say about equal to, you can make this squiggly equals. Okay. So it's about equal to how much? About 16. And so not exactly 16, but about 16, because our calculator is giving this big number to us. Okay, so yes, yes, but you're still missing something. So if you can wait, you should, but if you can't, go ahead. All right, then we will look at the next thing. So we'll move ourselves into this word problem idea. Okay. Someone, whoever that someone is, I was going to pick a name and I'm like, you know what? Even if I, no, but no, someone, no. don't, if you must put in a name to that screen privately, but someone got 48 out of 57 questions right on her exam. What percent did she earn? Okay. So we have the percent times the whole equals the part. So the whole percent times the whole equals the part. So which piece is, will you guys stop it? It's not, it, let me see back then. And Julian, you're gonna stop playing. All right, so um, can anybody tell me where one of these, fill in one of these things. Um, Julian. Would 57 be the whole? 57 would be the whole because that's all of the questions. Eli? The part would be 48. 
So the, they got 48 to part of the whole. Now, if you have extra credit, you have more than that. And so we have our variable, 1%. We're going to let that be our variable. So P times 57 equals 48. So how do we solve that then, Caleb? You divide 57 on both sides. Divide by 57, exactly. Oops, not 55. Let me see. 57. Okay, so throw that into the calculator. 48 divided by 57. It is. So it, let's go, it's 0.842 and a bunch of stuff, so I can do 0.842 and a bunch of whatever. Okay, because what I want to do is I want to make that number into a percent. Okay, so it's going to be about, bump it over to, so about 84%. And when your teachers actually do that, when they do it out of points, I usually say, I always, I figure out the point value for each question ahead of time and subtract from 100 because it's easier. But if somebody were to do it to do that because some of the tests that you see in the pre-made tests have a have it by points they would divide it out and then find the percentage and that would be the percentage that goes in okay um, so about 84 percent and that would be the thing that got put into the grade link for them so they got to be whoever the person was Moving on, 16 vanilla cupcakes in the box of 24 cupcakes. What percent of the cupcakes is vanilla? Okay. When I'm tired at the end of the day, this is how sometimes it goes. Okay, so we're looking for percent times the whole equals the part. Notice while we're getting used to it, it's a good idea to write the equation out so that you can fill in things. Once you're used to it and it is firmly embedded in your brain, then you don't necessarily have to. So, um, Brielle, can you tell us what's the whole? What number is the whole? 24. 24, and what's the part? 16. That would make our percent our variable. What percent of the cupcakes? All right, so what do you, so P, so what do you do then to finish it, Brielle? Well, sure, good. Divide by 24. She was saying it. She just didn't give it all time. All right, so P, P equals 16 over 24. So let's get our percent for that. 16 divided by 24. Okay, so about 0.6666, blah, 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 blah. Oh, how so, do you send an after? Oh because it, your calculator even has to round. It only has so many digits to work with. Can we just do six repeating? Yeah. Six repeating. Well, six, but you need to make it into percent notation. So uh, what is that as a percent? Yes. About about 60, so we move it over to, we have 66.66% so about 67%. So you do have to use the rules of rounding on that even when you're bumping the decimal place over. So 67% of the cupcakes were vanilla. I like cupcakes. I like chocolate ones better, to be honest. Yeah, and sometimes there are special ones with like filling in them. Oh, All right. So, in, in honor, even though I don't follow baseball very much, but at least I know. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. At least I know they're they're in the World Series. So yay, Phillies. Okay. If I gotta vote, if I'm gonna root for somebody, I'll root for Phillies. I have my this is my one and only Philly shirt. So. Thank you. Okay. No, wait, no, I'm not going to Yeah. Okay. 
How many wear jerseys? So we take the percent times the whole equals the part. Okay, so the percent, what will go the percent? 0.41, because 41 percent, we need to make it into its decimal form to use it. So 0.41. And Let's see, uh, Ariana, what's the whole? Uh, 35,200. And so that, this is how many people, uh, so how many fans wear jerseys? So the part, the fans that wear jerseys, I chose that for Pittsburgh fans. Um, so this one, you're simply multiplying. There's not even a thing to do to both sides. So 0.41 times 35,200. Let's make that twice for all these. So it's a point. So 14,432 of them were wearing jerseys. 14,432 fans wore jerseys. Okay, because that's how that came out. We didn't have to do any rounding, so there's no partial people wearing a jersey. They're all wearing jerseys. Partial. Yeah, yeah it's like ripped half. Yeah, exactly. But so nobody's wearing half. Yeah. I'm wearing half. All right. Church, waiting. Okay, waiting for you. And I probably gave more examples than we need, but we can probably get through the last two. I wanted to pick representatives from a lot of things from the homework. You'll find that most of these are very similar to homework problems. Okay, this one looks a little bit weirder though. After a year of work, you get a 4% increase in your hourly wage. If the increase is 0 .52, 52 cents per hour, how much was your original wage? We're still using percent times the whole equals the part. Okay, our percent we can do by changing this into a decimal. And Caleb, can you tell me what that is? Is a decimal? Uh, zero point four. Point, 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 uh, point zero four. Mm -hmm. So point zero four. The whole in this case was the original wage. This is the whole. So I'm going to do times W for the wage or the whole. And the part, that's this much. It's the amount that was increased. So this is the part of this whole. So 0.52. Okay. So 52 cents per hour raise. So then we do what, Julian? Divide. Well, you times. Divide so by double. what? By um, 0. .0. So let's find out what the original amount they were making per hour. 0.52 divided by 0 0.04. 13 dollars per hour. Yep. So the original rate was 13 dollars per hour. They got to the end of the year, uh, got the raise. Cost of living raise or whatever. How do you divide 52 cents and you divide 4 cents and it gets $13? Because if you did actually did the dividing out, you'd be moving the decimal points over. And, yeah. And you would get 13. It's math. Yep. Okay, so using your calculator makes like 
that easier, but it's good to still have your number sense, Nicholas, and to think about where that came from. Because if we move this over two and this over two, you're going to take two divided by four. Okay. Let's see what we can do with the last one. I hope we, I'll give you a chance to finish your gardening. Okay. All right. Last one. Let's at least make sure we can get this set up. Okay. Percent times whole equals part. Rachel, what goes here? No, they they have to check. Which if you want to be that full? Or we take one side. Move it two places. Oh. Oh, my fault. I'm, I'm, I thought it, but I said the wrong thing. It okay. meant point so three five. Point three five. Point three five is for the mortgage payment of twenty two hundred. Your household budget is going to be the whole part. The household budget is the whole part. So there's my budget. And the part that's the mortgage is two thousand two hundred dollars. And then you do the same thing to finish it off. And you would be done. Divide by point thirty five. And you get your answer. But you know how to do it. And I have a good night. Don't forget.